Hi friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we have to discuss about model of finite automata in theory of computation course and formal languages and automata theory course. So this is the block diagram of model of finite automata. Before explaining the model of finite automata, first of all, we have to know about formal definition of finite automata. Finite automata can be represented can be represented by phi tuple that phi tuples are q sigma delta q naught f these are the phi tuples of formal definition of finite automata where q is a finite non-empty set of states and sigma is a input alphabet, delta is transition function, q naught is initial state and f is final state. Once we are knowing the formal definition of phi tuples of finite automata, then we can go for the explanation of model of finite automata. So this model of finite automata contains mainly three components. The first one is input tape, second one is reading head, third one is finite control. These are the main three components of finite automata model. First one is input tape. An input tape contains a input string. That string contains a set of input symbols that are read from input alphabet sigma. Input tape can be divided into several number of cells. Each cell can hold only one input symbol that are taken from input alphabet sigma. So each cell can hold only one input symbol from input alphabet sigma. Here the input tape length is finite length. So because of that reason it can store only finite amount of information. Next, second one is reading head. The reading head can read only one cell at a time. From that cell, whatever the input symbol that is present that are read by the reading head, the reading head can move only in forward direction only. At a time, one cell can be moved by the reading head. After reading the symbol from a current cell, then the reading head can move only one cell in the forward direction. Next one. Next one is finite control. A finite control can contain a finite number of states, that is capital Q, where Q is a finite number of states that are q1, q2, q3 up to qn. So these are the finite number of states that are present in capital Q where q1 is the initial state and qn is the final state. Okay. Now in one move what is the action that is taken by the finite control? Okay. So 
in one move the finite control can read only one input symbol from a current cell of the input alphabet and the finite control at that time it is present in one state okay with the present state of the finite control i'm reading the input symbol from a current cell from the current input tape it can goes to the next state so that is uh, that is taken by the delta so delta is the transition function that indicates the what is the next state of the finite control by taking the present state and the present current input symbol so delta can take two parameters the first parameter is present state and the second parameter is present input symbol so it can goes to the next state okay so here q is nothing but present state present state and the a is nothing but present input symbol and this q is nothing but next state so that means the next state of the finite automata can be determined by using present state and the present input symbol okay so delta is the transition function it can take the present state of the finite control and the present input symbol that is read by the reading head from a current cell of the current input then it can goes to the next state it can goes to the next state of the finite automata so that means we can say that the next state of the finite automata can be determined by the present state of the finite automata and the present input symbol that is read by the reading head from a current cell of the current input tape okay when we can say that this string is accepted by the finite automata so whenever the reading head can read all the input symbols of the input tape then the finite control can reach the final state then we can say that this string is accepted by the finite automata otherwise that string is not accepted by the finite automata okay so that means to accept a particular string the finite control can reach the final state after reading all the input symbols from the input tape at that time we can say that the particular string input string is accepted by the finite automata otherwise we can say that that particular input string is not accepted by the finite automata so for example i am taking one string input string input string a a b b this is the input string here q is equal to i am taking only two states that are q1 q2 states and the sigma is input alphabet what are the symbols that are present in the input string a b and the next one is q0 is equal to initial state initial state is q1 and final state is q2 q2 is the final state okay i am taking these five tuples q is equal to set of q1 q2 
that means finite control contains only two states that are q1 and q2 next one the input alphabet contains only two symbols that are a and b among that two states q1 is the initial state that is represented by q0 and q2 is the final state that is represented by capital f now delta is the transition function that is used for finding the next state of the finite automata so first i am taking delta of initial state is q1 and the string is a a b b okay so this is the present state and this is the input alphabet so now at a time only reading head can read only one input symbol from the input alphabet okay so delta of q1 comma a okay so q1 comma a is nothing but q1 and the remaining input symbols are a b b okay q1 with the input symbol a it can goes to only q1 state assume that assume that okay next one again after reading this input symbol this input symbol is over the remaining input symbols are a b b now present state is q1 and uh, present input symbol is a okay q1 with a assume that q1 with a it can goes to only q1 state so delta of q1 comma b b after this input symbol is read the remaining input symbols are b b now now present state is q1 and the present input symbol is a b okay q1 with b it can goes to the q2 state so delta of q2 state next input symbol is b now present state is q2 and the present input symbol is b q2 with b it can goes to only q2 state okay so finally we are getting the q2 state is final state okay now the input symbols are over and the finite automata reach the final state hence we can say that this string is accepted by this finite automata okay. input string a a b b a a b b is accepted is accepted by the finite automata okay suppose after reading all the input symbols the finite control does not reach the final state hence we can say that this input string is not accepted by the finite automata okay so suppose here we are getting only q1 state assume that we are getting only q1 state q1 state is not a final state hence we can say that that input string is not accepted by the finite automata so in this way we can check whether the finite automata uh, accept the input string or uh, reject the input string so by using the transition function i formal definition of finite automata by considering the model of finite automata i hope all of you understanding this video if you really understanding this video please click on the like button and share this video to your friends and classmates if you really understanding this video please subscribe my youtube channel so divela srinivasa rao after subscribing my youtube channel click on the bell icon to get the future updates in my youtube channel 
डोंट फॉरगेट टू सब्सक्राइब माय यूट्यूब चैनल दिव्या श्रीनिवास राव प्लीज रेफर द प्रीवियस वीडियोस ऑफ डिफरेंट सब्जेक्ट्स दैट इज कंप्यूटर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन डीएलडी ओआरआर एसटीएलडी डिस्क्रीट मैथमेटिक्स डेटा स्ट्रक्चर्स एंड कंपाइलर डिफाइन सम वीडियोस थैंक यू thank you one and all for watching this video